Hey everyone, this is Carlson Sandy Lee. Thank you so much for listening. We couldn't do this without the support of Ondium. It's a national on-demand staffing platform for dental professionals. You can earn PTO, you can get medical benefits, and you don't have to mess with those crazy 1099s. So check out Ondium in our link below. Episode 176, right? That's yes. where we are now? Yes, yes. Um, not prime, obviously. Sounds and- prime-ish ish until the six comes along and screws everything up hmm yeah well it's an even number so two oh, goes okay. into it okay all right, all right never mind <laughs> never mind this is why we we're in dental because what time is it what time math is, it? is hard <laughs> so i locked my cat up today she's in the laundry room the mud room so we shall have no interruptions unless john opens the door and Said cat oh, runs. Was she, was she okay with it or was she? I mean, she's got to be. <laughs> I thought I heard something earlier when I was like looking around. I was like, is that the cat? <laughs> uh, but I think it's the dryer. Damn ninja it's, cat. You know? Yes. She's, she is a ninja. Well, no, l- completely not a ninja. Let me rephrase that because you can hear her jump off the bed. You can hear her jump, like walk down the stairs and she's, she's a little chunky little thing. She's big. And you know how like Catwoman from Batman cat burglars, they sneak in. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's this what makes cat, cat is like, like, boom, 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 boom. This cat could never be a cat burglar. Never. She don't care. Yeah, she's not sneaking up on anybody. No, yeah. no. That's hilarious. She, she thinks she can. She like does that little prowl pounce thing, and then blah, 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 and I'm like, <laughs> I see you way over there. I hear you. <laughs> but anyway, so last night we went to a uh, trivia night. It was for um, a domestic abuse um, foundation, and this is a dumb yes, question. Yeah. What what was the trivia about? Just random stuff? It was oh. about Las Vegas. Like, the theme was Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, some of the questions were about Las Vegas. But then you also have, uh, like, one category was Life's a Beach or something like that. So every okay. answer or question had the word beach in it. Okay. Um, just take a guess. There were almost 30 tables there. Just take a guess what... <laughs> What we got. It was me and John, the doctor I work with, and his wife, and then a couple other people from work. My friend Renee, hygienist, and she brought her friend. Just take a guess. Take a guess at how many people were there? How many tables? No, take a guess at what place we got our table out of 30. Almost 30. Oh, out of 30 people competing? Um, I'd say, what, in the top three? I expected the opposite from you, but... We tied for second. I was like, what? What? We went with no expectations whatsoever. We were like, uh, one of the girls uh, well, I invited. One, at least goes, one of us is winning things. <laughs> well, I didn't win. It was second. We were the first losers. But we tied to be the first loser. Anyway, you. one of the girls said, I am not good at trivia, but I like to have fun. And I said, that's what we're going for. There's no way we're going to win. We're just going to eat food and and have fun. And then in the end result, we were like, we were looking at the scoreboard going, is that right? What? We're, we're tied for second? What? We're just joking around. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but answers John. answers made up on the spot, you know? John got a couple questions. Uh, I got a couple. One of the answers was George Carlin. You'll be proud of me. Oh. Um, he yeah. had the... Um, Classic. Seven things you can't say or something like that. Seven bad uh, words or whatever. Yeah. Which they, they, I was hoping they would tell us what they were, but obviously, you know, we were in mixed company, young, old, male, female, pearl clutchers and non, and um, he couldn't say it. So. No, no. But what it's are good. the seven? They're, they're, they're adulty. Um, we I feel like we should say them and then bleep everything so nobody knows what they are. <laughs> I don't know what they what they were like. Um, I like George Carlin. I've always liked him. You know, 
who's the other guy that wears the black leather jacket and his hair slicked back? And he's like, just, he doesn't give two oh, nothings. And Andrew Dice Clay? Yes! Somebody was saying Sam something. I was like, no, that's not Sam it. Sam Kinison? Oh, yeah, he's the other guy. He's the long-haired yeah, with guy the with the yeah. one-liners. Yeah. Uh, dude, I used yes. to love those guys when I was uh, 18, 19, yes. 20. And when I was a yeah. young guy. I knew I knew Dice's act front and back when I was a did a you kid. oh, oh yeah. he's no, it was so he's bad. spicy <laughs> all right I, I got the words and then oh um, my gosh okay right. and cover your mouth when you say them so they can't read your lips or or don't I mean maybe right. you should just all right well okay. I'm, I'm reading them so I don't I can't even see myself okay so okay they okay. are uh, I'm gonna put the mic in front of my mouth ready okay they are. <laughs> yeah i feel like some of those yeah. might be acceptable now i don't know oh <laughs> yeah yeah i mean they're, they're bad a couple couple of them are are, are for, you know guaranteed in the hall of fame of uh you yes. probably shouldn't say out loud yeah and, uh, yeah but some, one or two of them aren't too bad oh, shit's man. not that bad i say that if you all guys time. If you guys are not watching video, you're going to have to go and find at least this spot. Because my face, when you said those, I was like, oh, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we had a, an interesting thing, dyna- uh, an interesting dynamic go down uh, the other night, Thursday night. When yeah. We, when, when the first round I was in, right? At the at the contest, right? Yeah. Did somebody take a pipe to somebody's kneecap? No, no. Well, it was a small oh. audience, right? It was like a work group. Yes. And in a couple stragglers like that, that just were happen to be there. Right. Yeah. So it was a small audience. It was, it was a yes. rough crowd. Right. Okay. Sometimes small audiences really, really engage and it doesn't matter if it's six people, you know? Right. But these 15 folks were like, they were expecting fire and, and lasers or whatever. I, I don't know what it was. Right. <laughs> Laser beams. You know, if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, sprinkle glitter out of your forehead, they they weren't they weren't down with it. They were holding um, back the claps, huh? So one, somebody said something about an audience member sitting in, in the in the dark, right? Yeah. He goes, "Oh, I didn't see you there," and that gentleman happened to be African American, right? Uh huh. And it was kind of a joke, but the dude was cool, and they were vibing, and and, and the host and, sure. and, and this guy were, were were joking around, right? Yes. Then one of the dudes in the table in front was like, hey, man, why don't you just wrap it up? And I go, and I'm sitting in the corner. I'm like, what's this going on here? Yes. Like, what? What? He's like, yeah, just wrap it up. He's like, did I do something wrong? I go, that guy's, he goes, that guy's cool. I mean, it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's really got nothing to do with you, really, to be honest with you. Right. And the dude felt like he needed to defend the other guy because he was offended. And I'm like, dude, if that guy had a problem, he would have told him himself right. yeah These are, you're in a, you know you're in a comedy club right yeah the, and that i mean that goes to show like you cannot do the comedy that you used to be able to do so oh so that brings me to what my next question would be is what would be the seven words today that oh. you can't put on the radio and we might uh not radio but you know air um we might have to bleep these too you know what I'm I'd saying? say stuff like um, "sir" or "ma'am." Yes. Or um, "snowflake." Can't say that. You can't say "snowflake." Well, yeah, like it used to be about Frozen, the movie Frozen, but now it's like if you say "snowflake," you're offending somebody because they're a snowflake. <laughs> they're offended by the word maybe, "snowflake." Maybe, maybe I'm just from a different era. You know, we are. And I'll Carlos, say, we like, are. Here, here, here's my thing, and and, I, and this just goes, this goes out to everybody, right? Yes, yes. You can call me whatever you want, but don't I'm call not... me late for dinner. True, <laughs> but you, I don't have to agree with you, right? If you don't like me, then that's your problem, not mine. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Now, if I did something, yeah. then I, you know, I can apologize. I'm, I'm man enough to say, hey, sorry, I jacked this up, whatever. So yeah, what, what are the what are the seven? I I, I think you hit it there. Um, what else is there? You know, we may not be able to even release. <laughs> it's, we can't we? say aliens are real or not real. Aliens, 
Aliens are real. No, you can't say that. Why not? Because they're real and they'll come after you. The aliens or the people hiding the aliens? Both. Now you got a double whammy. Now you really <laughs> got to watch your back and your at, butt. <laughs> at, at, at this point, <laughs> I'm ready to go on an alien spaceship, dude. I kind of feel like it would be cool in a way. Hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And Elon Musk said it best. He goes, somebody at, was interviewing. He says, so I, I, yeah. I read somewhere that you want to die on Mars. He goes, no, no, let's, let's be clear. I don't want to die on Mars. But we are all going to die. Yeah. And if you could be born on one planet and die on another, that's kind of cool. That is pretty sweet. And I'm like, because after you're dead, who cares? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So that being said, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't want to leave my family. But if I knew I had three weeks to live, I want to go to Mars, bro. You I don't I mean? think you would make it in time, though. Does it? How long does it take to get aliens, to Mars? bro? Aliens. I'm not. Oh, going with, okay. With I human see what technology. You're saying. You know I see what, what you're saying. Yeah, if they had Let's their just... light space time bender type stuff, you'd be down. Yeah. Let's see what they're doing on Orc. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you know, you're like you have three weeks to live, and the whole three weeks is just getting to Mars, and then as soon as you put your foot on Mars, you die. You collapse. Yeah, that, that would, would be, be horrible. That would be my. <sighs> But you don't know. They might have some alien technology. Like, hey, we can keep you alive forever, but you got to live on Mars. I'm like. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be a hard decision. But you have to go by yourself. And at the present moment, there are no other people on Mars except us. So are you cool with that? That means unless this alien is a humanoid, you will never. You know what? Again. (laughs) That's less concerning (laughs) than. Than you would think, but like I'd like to be able to talk to people. You know what I mean? Right. So okay. So here's the situation: like Thirteenth Warrior with Anton Antonio Banderas, you are in an area where you cannot communicate because body language doesn't exist with aliens because you just don't know what the heck they're you oh, know so they're what, putting their hands up like. What movie are you talking about, Antonio Banderas? Thirteenth Warrior. So the movie is uh, these warriors come in and ravage the place and then he gets taken with them. And there's this one little montage where he's sitting around the fire. They're speaking different, uh, different language than he is. And he's like listening and learning. By the end of this montage, he can speak their language and understand it. And I'm like, that'd be a good commercial for uh, what, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. <laughs> He's been here three weeks. You can be fluent in one hour around a fire. I guess it, that's immersion therapy, though, bro. You got to. That's that's true, but not in an hour. So back to the point. Together. Okay, okay. You you're kidnapped by aliens. No, you're you're go you go willingly with these aliens. They take you to Mars and say you have to stay here with us, or else you'll die. Um, you have to leave your family and friends behind. You probably, you're hanging out with them. You, you, you're learning their, their culture and, you know, you may or may not learn their language and that sort of thing. Would you do it? I think I'd. Ant-Man's left behind. That would be tough, dude. Mm Mm-hmm. And in, in game, and I, I don't want to leave my babies and, uh. Right. But here's the thing. If I was dying. That's a different story. You know and I mean? that's the only way to live. That's the only way to live. I might go if it was the only way to live, but um, I don't know. That mean I might just, just go out and just be a... Go out in style. A, yeah, just be a good-ass memory. Like, I'm giving this real thought here. So, I think I would choose Mars with the hopes that they'll go back and kidnap, kidnap my family and bring them to... <laughs> I know. That would be kind of cool. You know. Yeah. Can we if, leave it, Snickers, though? I don't want to bring Snickers. Yeah, no, you can leave I, the dogs. Kidding, maybe gotta, maybe everybody on Mars is allergic to dogs, so then you can't have dogs. But then they have this this cool lizard tripod animal thing that is your new pet. There you go. You yeah, know. this is a dumb conversation, but uh, it is. But <laughs> most of them are. So <laughs> I I like those. What what would you do if you know? Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking. Oh, so one of the questions last night. It had me rolling. They said, uh, what is the third largest planet? And we were like trying to figure it out. And I know like Jupiter's really big. And then and then I go, Saturn's really big too. And then my friend Renee goes, 
I bet it's Uranus. And I go, mm, Uranus is pretty big. Uh, it has that ring around it. It's just. Does Uranus have rings? <laughs> it doesn't even sound right. I don't know. Do they have rings? Oh, another Uranus? banned word. Why did they name it that? Why and who? Yo, is that Go- the planet that, that. That does, that's not a planet anymore? No, that's Pluto. Pluto was, they decided it was a blue dwarf or something like that. All right. It says, uh, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> yes. It's the seventh planet from the sun. <laughs> it has a third largest diameter. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Ah, this is the dumbest <laughs> shit. <laughs> it was uh, found with the aid of a telescope. Uh, and this is the part that makes me laugh. It goes, Uranus was discovered in 1781 <laughs> by by William Herschel. Oh, no. So, uh, that's what it says. He thought it was either <gasps> a comet. He originally thought it was a comet or a star. Uh, what, are we 13-year-old boys? Yes. Man? Oh, my gosh. That's that the dumbest awesome. thing in the world. Oh, it's a reference to the Greek god of the sky. Okay. So that's that's where the name came from. All right, see that's that's probably offensive right there. Yeah, that's one of those things we can't say. Oh, guess what? Okay, so our new doctor, he's real big about different trying different foods and last night at the silent auction, he's he's I don't know, you could say good influence, bad influence, whatever you want, but now he's an like an influence. He's an influence, yes. So I f- uh, at the silent auction, they had almost like a panini press type thing, okay. but it wasn't right. exactly. It was probably like a cheap George Foreman grill. Um, but anyway, so I won that, and uh, I think we're going to make some Cubano like press sandwiches. That sounds Mm-mm-mm. delicious, dude. What does What's that have it? in it, though? I forget. Uh, pulled pork or sliced, right? Okay. Ham. Okay. Swiss cheese. Oh. Pickles. Pickles? Um, banana peppers? Whatever you want. And then whatever else you want to put on it. You know, if you want to put some you know, Yeah, what kind of onions. sauce? Um, it's I think it's the cheese that melts. But I want Oh, so there's no I, sauce. I want to say mustard, but I think that could be just like a, a you know, a, a variation of the right. of the design. You can kind of do what you want. Yeah, but they're usually real meaty. It's a, it's a, it's a meaty sandwich. Yes, yes. I remember having uh, one in Florida that was like straight up. That was legit. Wait a minute, it was did, really did good. We have one. Mmm. The first night we were we there, did. right? Yeah, I think yeah. we did. And it's done on, yeah. on and it's the bread that makes it. Oh you yeah, gotta, it has to be like that, crispy, and it has to have the lines on it. That roll type of you know, and when you cut it, you cut it diagonally. Yes. Yep. So you can start yep. at one of the points. So your bread's like, if yeah. you look at the bread, it looks like they just went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just kind of, it's delicious, man. I used to go to mm-hmm. this one Cuban restaurant back in the day. And uh, of course you get the Cuban sandwiches or whatever, but they had yes. this thing called um, pollo al vapor vino or something like that. And Chicken with wine? With yeah, wine like like I don't want to say I think I don't want to say steamed in wine, but I think oh. it was cooked in wine. And, okay. And, or wine was one of the ingredients that it was cooked in, and it's making my mouth water. It was it was like fall off the bone good. It was yeah so good. You know oh, that sounds. And good. I, I don't think I've ever had it since. And uh, huh. but with some white rice and some black beans, dude, and some of this good ass chicken, I was just kind of like sliding off the bone. Mm-hmm. Deli- delicious, man. Oh, uh, we always talk about food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, oh gosh. Uh, so, what else is there to uh, talk about? Oh, I want to see the new Batman movie. <clears throat> Have you seen I it? Was, I was telling my son about. It, and he goes, "Yeah, I already saw it." I'm like, "What?" Uh, but, but, son. But, but. Of a man. Well, I have a whatever. feeling it's not going to be as good, though. I don't know. I just get the vibe that it's just not going to be. And then what's his name is the Batman? I don't know. I, you, you know, know? It's, it's, a, it's a toss up. But you know what? Okay, I was listening to Jim Gaffigan the other day. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm excited. Oh, yeah, you're going to be. I want to get to meet him. In, in, yes, in a that's weeks. awesome. And he said something about, I don't think certain things are going to come back after the pandemic and parades might be one of them. Huh. 
And he was going on about, he goes, anybody's having fun except the people in the parade? You know what I mean? You know, they're just blocking up traffic for no reason. Um, but for if me, they throw candy and stuff. Something you know? that's not coming back, I think, after the, the pandemic is movies, bro. Mm. Movies and or movie theaters? Movie theaters. You know me, I was a freak about movie theaters. I loved going. Yeah. It was like a hobby almost. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Just, I mean, the last few times we've went, but we try to go at non-busy times. So, yeah, I'd be I'd be curious to see how busy it is. I feel like now that, um, like, mask restrictions are coming, um, you know, a little less, I don't know, enforced or whatever you want to say, uh, I feel like people are going to get back out there. Yeah, but not in the numbers that they, they used to be. Maybe not, but I'm sorry. I'm not paying 30 bucks to watch a movie at my house. I'll say, I'll say this. If you had, let's say you had 10 people at the house that wanted to see the movie. You better have a big ass TV, big TV. $30, $30 isn't bad at all. But you I ain't know? paying for all them peoples when I go to the movie theater anyway. I'm paying for me and Johnny. That's it. I hear what you're saying, but if people are bringing food, here's the thing. You could do it like if if we're like, sometimes we do a fight night at, at our house, right? Right, right, yeah. And it, it's getting expensive, so I don't know if I'm gonna you know keep doing that. But do you, you charge know, admission? Yeah, the, 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 you know, oh, most okay. of these friends that everybody chips in and yeah, you know, yeah, everybody puts in like twenty bucks or whatever, and you know, yeah, and we get it in HD and um, and I have a uh, I got a good deal on a seventy inch TV in, in yeah. the living room. Ours so, is sixty five. So this yeah. is. That's a good size television, you know what I mean? Yeah. And in a big room, it, it kind of fit. Like our living room is is good size, and uh, mm-hmm. so I I could go bigger. To be honest with you, I wish I could. But yeah. It, I don't. I'm not trying to spend five said. grand on a TV. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Have you had any experience with the projectors? Yeah, I used to have one, and we would have um, and we had big ideas for our uh because it was in our basement and we even had one of those electric um uh screens that came down from the ceiling like Mm -hmm. it was fancy john got it for free somewhere otherwise we wouldn't have that we just used the wall uh but yeah the projector was awesome i think we're gonna do the same eventually down here when we get to that point uh because it was it was what in the basement yeah yeah it was nice to have um you know, people over and stuff like that. You know what we really liked is watching movies outside. We would have take the projector outside and hang a, a white sheet, you yeah. know, and and uh, project on the screen there, and we'd all be huddled in blankets and stuff like that. And it was it was fun, and we could totally do that here. But um, I don't know, you know, and this is side tangent, whatever. But we don't have people over near as much as we used to. It's almost like we value our private time a little more as we get a little older. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? You know, people my age, <laughs> I, I, it's, 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 they're about comfort. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, and we'll get together. Yes. You know, like I have a, a good friend I've known for 20 years. We talked mm-hmm. on the phone the other day and I was sending him some silly videos that I saw that I found online. And he's one of these guys that has a laugh that's so infectious that. Yeah. You don't know what he's laughing at, but it kind of puts a <laughs> smile on your face. And it, right. if you're both having a good time, yeah, it just amplifies everything. It's like a drug almost, you know. Yeah, one of the nicest guys I've ever I've ever known, and uh, uh, he's a real good dude. Um, so I call him, said, "Man, we haven't talked in like forever." You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. uh, he's like, "Do you want to go get breakfast?" So we might go get brunch or something after this, you know. After oh, we nice. Finish recording. That'll and, be nice. Uh, uh, and then he moved. He's giving me the directions. He's 20 minutes away. Oh. Like, that's not very the-? far. I go, I'm annoyed that we were just now figuring out where we where we moved to. Right. Because you know? we did live nearby and we lived in the other county. Now we're up here and we're 20 years yeah. closer now. That's funny. And it's, it's yeah, so you definitely got to hang out some, you know. And uh yeah. yeah, I feel like it's uh, uh, it's definitely quality over quantity as you get older. Like yeah. you're very picky. I don't know. I am. I'm very picky about who I spend my time with. Yeah, so yeah. if we are don't genuinely enjoy our time together, we're not entertaining each other. We're not having fun. 
you know, get some value out of it. I'm just like, nah, maybe not, you know. And, oh, but and I don't have time for negative people either. Yeah, no, 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 no. If no. someone comes, has, if you're uh, all this negative energy, I'm like, listen, I, yeah. I, I just can't do it. I, I shut down. I can't. Or if you're two faced, for- don't don't come near me with that. No. Tell me like it is. If you don't like me, that's fine. I respect you way more when you just act like you don't like me rather than faking it. But anyway. Oh, so back to the projectors. You were saying, do I have any experience with them? And I do. I do. But was there more to that? No, no. I'm just curious. I've been thinking about it. Um, you just should. Just kind of like on the edges. And when you said hanging up a sheet, I just it just occurred to me like I can hang one from – our windows here, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and put a, just make a giant screen. I think you could, I think they, they actually have, they, they, like they have paint where, uh, you take any texture that's on your wall, take it off and you paint and then you just nail up a frame around it. There's your projection screen. Could we do that in the garage? You think? Totally. You might want to bring a heater out there, you know, for those cooler nights when you're chilling watching movies but yeah yeah you totally could i i would say when we did the projector it was it was it was awesome but the screen size we had was almost about the same as our tv so like now we wouldn't do that unless we went like you know 120 inch screen or something right you know right that's, but that's was, what I want to do. I want to do like the whole yeah, wall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just, just let's get it. Let's, you want to watch the Matrix? Let's go yeah. in the Matrix. You know what I mean? We, I would say if you're thinking about it, go for it. I, I loved having it. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, I, I might do that. Yeah. Uh, my, my idea for outside that we have a long patio and I want to get a sectional um, outdoor sectional, put a fire pit in the middle of it and then eventually have a hot tub and have a TV mounted under the deck that swings both ways. That's what she said. But you know, if you're in the hot tub, you turn the TV towards the hot tub. If you're outside, Mm -hmm. you can turn it completely like to that and you could just sit out there and chill with, you know, and watch movies and stuff with all your friends yeah, and have yeah, a fire pit right in the middle of you to keep you warm. I think that would be awesome. Anyway, so, yes, projector. I think it'd be awesome. And uh, I don't know. What else, Carlos? So, yeah. So, you know, we found out that uh, I don't really follow the rules. Um, there's certain words that you can't use. Um, yep. Let's wrap it up. Guys, yeah. please check out the website and show some love to all, all our people. social media. We got everything going now. Help support the people that support us. And yeah, check out our TikToks. And uh, I sent you a silly video with me with a mustache doing a thing yeah. from Nacho, Nacho Libre. Libre. <laughs> and that's one of my favorite movies. And it just made me laugh. Real, real silly. Yeah. Um, you literally sent it to me. And I was like, oh, TikTok. And I put it right up. <laughs> yeah, He's cool. Real good. <laughs> I wake so up at 5 a.m. I need to make soup. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, it, the movie was so silly. It's it's mm-hmm. funny. I think, and I, in what I like about it, he didn't take himself too seriously. Right. Yeah. He, he's just like, yeah, so dumb, so yeah. dumb. But I like kind of like what we do. So anyway, yeah. Uh, great seeing you, man. And, you too, uh, buddy. All right. You yeah. Wanna, you want to say anything? Uh, no. That's that's about it. Just uh, you know, go floss yourselves. That's pretty much it. Episode 176. There you go. Boom, boom, bow. All right, guys. Thank you so much. (laughs) We got to do a live soon, too. So we'll we'll, we'll post something. All right. Sounds good. Take care. All right. Take it easy, peoples. Go floss yourselves. Go floss yourselves again. (laughs) Again. Bye. Bye. Bye.